Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some common beginner mistakes in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly is user friendly and fun to use. Many new users jump right in. That's what I did. They just start playing with it right away. While that's a great way to learn, you will probably make a few mistakes along the way. That's why I highly recommend that you watch the main tutorials so that you can learn the ins and outs of Doodly without the frustrations that sometimes occur when you try to teach yourself. I see the same beginner mistakes over and over and thought now would be a good time to go over them with you so you can either avoid them completely or get the advice you need to make your Doodlies even better. One of the first mistakes I see has to do with the built-in scene templates. So like this one right here, is a built-in scene template. If you go over to scenes, you'll see it's the very first one. And oftentimes that is the very first one that people start using in their doodly videos. Cause it's right there, it's convenient. Hey, I'm gonna do it. The problem is, is everybody's using it, right? So you wanna customize it a bit so it doesn't look like everybody else's video. So how would I customize this one? Well, for starters, let's change the font and let's use word wrap so that it's not one line, but rather two lines. So here's how you do it. First, we're gonna double click and turn word wrap on. And then we're just gonna adjust the text a little. I think two lines would be fine and let's center it. And we'll move that over. Now we can make it larger. So it's more prominent. This is the main thing we wanna see, not necessarily these lines, okay? Now let's change the font. So we're gonna go over here to the text. I, I like bangers, so let's do that one. And we're gonna replace the font. We may need to recenter it. And then let's change our little emphasis here. We're gonna click the settings icon and we'll change the color. Let's make it, let's make it gray. And see, now that already looks quite a bit different from everybody else's. We can also reposition it. You know, it doesn't have to be centered. We can make it smaller. So maybe it's a smaller element of a larger scene. And likewise, don't be afraid to enlarge your characters so that they fill the screen even more. So now I've customized that default scene template and it looks 100% different from everybody else who's just using that basic stock emphasis and text, right? So let's go to the next mistake that I see a lot, and that's drawing everything. So here I have a scene and there's a lot of elements. You know, I've got multiple clouds, I have a school, I have trees, I have a bus. And if we were to preview it, you would see the hand draws everything. And it takes quite a while to get to the main point of this slide. And maybe that main point is the bus is going to drop off the school kids. So do we really need to have everything drawn in real time? Possibly not. So I highly recommend that you don't just accept all these default drawings, okay? So I'm gonna turn all this other stuff off by typing the three, which is three seconds that it's the draw time and turning it to zero. I'm only gonna use the bus because in my little pretend example, that's the main thing, right? And I'm gonna want the bus to be the last thing drawn. So let's turn the trees off too here. So now if we were to preview this scene, it gets straight to the point and draws the bus. Now, sometimes you do want it to take some time because you have a story that you're telling and that's fine. Let's take a look at our video so far. I want to show you between these two scenes what happens. We've got the guy and then it goes straight to our school. So, no sooner did the hand draw the guy and then the school appeared. Maybe we want to 
pause for a moment so we can kind of take in what we're looking at. So scene settings right here, extra time at the end, 0.5 seconds. So many people don't know to change this. They just accept it and it can be very jarring. So I like to go in and change it. I, I like two seconds generally. That seems to be a good time for me. So now if we were to preview it, we'll see the guy come in, he's pointing. We get a little bit of a break and then it changes to the next scene, okay? Another common beginner mistake is using only the stock images that come in Doodly. They're great, don't get me wrong. You can make plenty of wonderful videos and only use them. So for example, instead of having this guy be our main character, yeah, you know, maybe we can import something of our own. Use myself instead of him. And another common beginner mistake having to do with imported images is just using the default scribble effect. So let's go ahead and import an image and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go to props and click the plus sign to upload your image. Now, if we were to preview this image, you'll see that Doodly just scribbles it on like so. And if you had a drawing like this, you wouldn't scribble it on like this. You would probably start here in the middle and draw it on like so, right? And then you do these little individual rays like so. So it really pays off to take a little time and do your drawing paths. So to do that, you're going to click this little pencil icon. And I'm just going to go ahead and click right here where I want my hand to start drawing it. And I'm going to actually follow this stroke here. Now I'm going to increase the path size a little bit here. You don't need to be super precise. And I'm just going to draw this sun. Now I'm going to do some draw paths for each of these little sunbeams. So let's go ahead and hit save and return and preview it now. Now wouldn't you say that looks a little more realistic than the scribble effect? Now here's another common beginner mistake that's becoming less common now that Doodly has updated the chalkboard feature. If for some reason your assets come in with the wrong color or an unexpected color, chances are Doodly inverted those colors for the chalkboard. So if that happens, and like I say, it's rare because this has been addressed, click the little gear icon and turn your invert on, or if it's on, turn it off. And you'll see the color changes. Now finally, let's add some music to our video. Let's just take this one. You can, of course, shorten its duration. What a lot of beginners don't quite understand is that you can also fade it out. So if you were to leave it as is, it would just end just abruptly. If you do this, if you right click at the end, you can choose to fade it out. And then you can stretch it out if you'd like a really slow fade or not. Another common audio mistake that beginners make is they leave the music setting at its default and that's oftentimes way too loud. If you add a voiceover, which I'll do right now, this is just a little tiny voiceover just as an example. My voiceover will be drowned out by this really loud music. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and click on the speaker icon and these bars, if you just click anywhere on the bar, you know, where you want it, that will adjust the audio. I tend to turn mine way down into this, you know, 12 to 19% range and that's a much better mix. Let's hit preview. This is just a little tiny voiceover, just as an example. And my voice is no longer being drowned out by the music. So those are some of the more common beginner mistakes and how to avoid them.
Thanks for watching. Bye.